What's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. Now, um, this episode, I talked a little bit last episode about um, playing four games in one episode, but I don't think I want to stretch out the video that has the national championship uh, into one video, like with uh, like three other games, because I feel like it's going to be like an hour long episode. And at that point, like, I don't get people usually don't stay that long in my videos. That's what I'm getting at, which it's kind of sad, but. I mean, no, nobody usually stays that long if we're being honest with ourselves. So I think we're just going to play two episodes this week. So we're going to play against the, the Cupcake team and then South Carolina. And then next episode, we're going to be playing in the Conference Championship as well as hopefully the National Championship. So we're just going to hop right in. Also, um, there's this new game that came out. It's called Anthem. Uh, and it's kind of like a Destiny kind of Halo kind of looking game. I'm gonna play it for sure, like uh, in my off time. But um, just like comment down because I knew I know my videos are doing well and I know that they're getting comments. But comment down below if you actually if I should record that. So I'm not really sure if I if I should record me playing that. Now this is the game that I expect to absolutely overload and boost our Heisman profile. This is the perfect match that we need to to get ourselves on track to like tell the committee, okay. Oh. Uh, I might have thrown it too late. I, I threw it way too late. Okay, come back, come back. We're going to do that again. I threw that way too late, but he was open by like a mile. I should have I should have checked that route a little bit earlier. That was my fault. But this is the, it says I was talking about, this is the game to tell the, the committee, the Heisman committee, committee, the committee, like all the committees saying like, okay, we are, I'm going to try it again because I'm, I'm, he's getting past him. He's literally, yeah, he's getting right past him. I could see it. It's also where we score a whole bunch of points and if people do have the same records, I believe that it also goes on to like points that you scored that uh, like overall. So for instance, we're nine and one, but I think uh, like for instance, I think Ohio State's nine is one, nine and one and is, oh my God, nine and one as well. So I think they go down to like points scored. Like that's what I, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it because he's wide open. This game's gonna be a piece of cake. Okay, we're lining up. I believe Bryant will probably get in the end zone. I, again, these corners really suck. Oh, not too much, apparently. All right, I'm going to send Hugel deep because I just have confidence that he'll be able to get open even though it's not really that deep. There you go. That's wrong. We're not going to do an HP draw. Oh, they want me to do a run play. Why? I mean, I'm clearly passing the rock. Oh, no, I can audible now. I forgot. I can audible mid uh, in the games now because I, I've reached a high enough uh, level. I'm going to send Paul just on a streak, not like a fade. Uh, I'll throw it to you. You're open. There you go. Dude, what? <laughs> this game is so easy. What? Watch us get out of here before halftime. We're on track to do so. I mean, what? This blows my mind. Dixon, oh my god, he's gonna burn that coverage. I'm gonna send Overton deep then, because Dixon's gonna burn past that coverage. Look at that. That's what, oh my god, are you serious? No, I overthrew it! I'm doing it again. I don't care. This is way too easy. All right, let's see if we can do this again. Oh, they're not playing him too closely. But really, I do have faith that Dixon will be able to still burn past him, which he was able to do so. I like how they, they, they paint these FCS teams. Like, they paint them to be, like, literally the worst football players in the world. Nice pass interference. They paint them to be the worst football players in the entire world. But really, I bet North Dakota State could put up, I mean, somewhat of a fight. Because, like, I believe every team has this, has, like, one of these teams... In their schedule like they have to play one of these games once and even like some of the crappy teams like BYU but really I bet North Dakota State could beat BYU I mean they paint them to be really bad even though North Dakota State was still probably a good team especially when they had Carson Wentz they also have another kid that's a quarterback there and he's actually not too bad oh wow well, I don't know how that just worked this is insane how quick this game's going by I mean we're a hundred percent gonna be simming out <laughs> like not very very soon Dixon if as long as they don't go, double double cover him I have confidence that he'll catch that ball right there and run into the end zone my goodness oh no they scored and we missed the field goal what happened guys what happened I'm gonna send Dixon deep Overton straight out Powell on a, on a fade um I just have so much faith in Dixon right now like just his speed he's able to burn past anybody exactly and then he's able to catch balls like that look at them have like three people lined up over by Dixon two on one receiver uh but I'm gonna I'm gonna catch uh, whoever a is over here on a pass interference play okay so this game I think we're just going to tr we're just trying to break records in this game this game is the, the game that we break 
multiple records. Now, I'm going to watch Fields and Dixon because they're going to double cover Fields and Dixon. Oh, but I'm going to throw that. He's not catching that. No way. No way. Oh, but maybe if he actually, like, made a second attempt, that would have been pretty lit. Look, at everybody's hot on the team except for Fields. I need you to get a touchdown, even though I, I meant to audible the play, but I hiked it. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Dixie boy. Dixie stick touchdown. Mmm. School record, school receiving yards. Our teammate just broke the record. Amazing. We need them to keep scoring as well because if we want to actually break some records, we're going to need some more time. We're going to need as many yards as we can get, really. Um, screw it. Oh, wait, what just happened right there? Ooh, screen. Ah, dude, I, you know, I, I'm kind of on a streak of like, you know, doing some good passes. You know, I'm going to actually try this though. I'm going to try to run on this right side and just throw it up. I'm throwing it up. There you go. Oh, he caught it. Nice. Our band is so tired. They're like, okay, we've had to we've had to play music like 10 times already. Not 10, but we're getting up there. And let's throw it up. Eh, that's not going to be a catch because there's two of them. Sadly, we don't have Dixon out on the field. So we can't, um, we can't really have speed to get, to get deep. But if they're, if they're just dumb and they're not playing defense correctly, honestly, I'm going to throw it. Wait. I just got picked. What? No, Dixon's injured. I actually just got, hey, there's Dixon. I actually just got picked off by an SCS team. Wow, that's upsetting. That is a major rip. I'm throwing it deep again. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, Dixon's back, by the way. If our defense was as good, uh, was actually good. Oh, not as good. What am I trying to say? If my defense was relatively good, we probably, be shutting them out 54 to zero right now i mean mm, that's a dumb pass unless the defender stops like they sometimes do they glitch it out gotta love the glitches all right so we're gonna try to get in the end zone to uh give us basically eight touchdowns in the day that's a crazy amount of touchdowns oh wow, that was such a tight pocket but i still got it i mean he dropped it technically he would have caught that but he just didn't have his hands open it's all right dixon's been like he has i don't even know how many touchdowns like five touchdowns in his possession this game so i don't i don't blame him too much let's get some yards just get some yards and then really i can i could pass it close oh we have six seconds left oh we're gonna kick a field goal no we're not awesome coach keeping us in he's like i know you could do this i know you're good enough to like, get in the end zone right here. i'm like you know what you dang rat coach even if i have to run it and i'll do that uh worst case scenario though i don't want to have to run it in i'm gonna run it in though Oh, I almost ran out of bounds. We got the ball a half because of my uh, smart play. But um, this game is over. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know how I feel about doing that, but I'm going to do it anyways because he's, ooh, because they're probably, they're like, uh, I was expecting to uh, throw it to Dixon in that play. And I was like, okay, they're going to have people like double covering him. So I'm going to send a guy deep, which also is going to add another guy down there who could possibly um, deflect that pass. But I still did it because uh, he was open. I mean, it wasn't the guy I was expecting, but he's still open. Honestly, screw it. Screw it. Oh, my God. Hey, NCAA record. Receiving yards. We just broke records on this game. Oh, wait, no. That wasn't us that broke records. It was our wide receiver. Yo, let's go. They are still keeping us in for this game. Wow. Okay. Um, I didn't, I thought there was a, a mercy rule or something like that, but apparently not. There's not a mercy rule. I can't confirm it, but yeah, yep. Yeah. And that's, that's another touchdown. Dixon, take another one. Did we break a record? Yeah, we should, we should have bro break, broken a record. There you go. NCAA record passing yards in a game. That's us. Wait, no, that's not. Yeah, that is a game. Okay, cool. Are they taking us out? Yeah, they're finally taking us out after that absolute beating. Can we hit a hundred? Please hit a hundred. No, we beat. The cupcake team, 96 to 35. We break records. I believe we broke the touchdown record. There's no way we did it. We had like nearly 10 touchdowns. Let me let me look at my stats real quick. So let's go to wait, not scoring summary. But more so uh player stats. Let's check out what we have here. Nick Savage. We had nine touchdowns. There's no way. I'll look it up right now. Give me a sec. Yeah, I can't find a single game. I'm finding a whole bunch of single seasons and stuff. And, like, Patrick Mahomes is, like, up there for most yards in a game. So, technically, like, let me look at my player stats real quick. I think um, I had 756. So, technically, if this was up to date, we actually wouldn't have. I don't think we'd have the 
record for most passing touchdowns in a, or passing yards in a game. I think Patrick Mahomes had like 800 and something like that against Oklahoma. Okay, so we're just going to go back to the menu and hopefully we're ranked higher after that performance. That looks like a basketball stat line, 196 to 35. Wow. So the school record is 49 passing touchdowns in a career, and we're probably going to break that before the end of the season. So that's a good track. That's a good place to be. All right, so sadly, we didn't go up in uh, the rankings at all. In the top 25 i'm assuming everybody won the, their games that they needed to win let's check out who okay so uh actually texas a and m lost but they they moved up lsu past us <laughs> dude why okay yo this is this is crucial this is crucial right here so Notre dame is gonna play number nine stanford this week it is insanely crucial that they lose this game because if they don't we can kiss that goodbye and also we need alabama to lose to lsu and the conference championship the um what's it called the sec conference championship so stanford's gonna have to win lsu has to win oh but lsu also needs to lose because they're ranked higher than us wow we are in a crappy position but here's the thing also if ohio state wins this week against number 12 michigan they're probably going to be put past our past us too because we're playing south carolina this week oh my god we're in a bad place we need one of them to choke and really just like mess up yes we have moved up we have passed uh johnny manzel and now we are number one in the heisman race so fantastic so even if we don't make a national champion uh, national championship position we will be heisman hopefully we're still predicted to be in the orange bowl against notre dame so we'll see if that changes after this week don't worry alabama versus boise state and the bcs national champ dude i hate that all right so uh we're gonna do this one just because it includes carrying uh, i'm gonna spend just a little bit of xp on that because carrying and injury those are the two biggest ones that we want now um when i actually do get into the nfl um, even if my injury is not at a 99, I'm 100% because I can literally edit the stats of Nick Savage. Once we get in the Madden, I have to. I have to edit his stats or he's going to be a scrub. So if when I get there and I do edit his stats, even if we're not at a 99 overall for like injury wise, I'm, I'm, I'm making that 99 because I can't have this happening in NFL games. So now we're going to go play um, our rivalry game against South Carolina, which were ranked. They were ranked, but you know, now they suck. So, yeah, let's just play this out. We're away. It's raining. Ooh, these rain games. I'm not good at them. I'm never good at these rain games. So, let's see. Tails never fails. There you go. That, that, that streak is really, really working for us. So, our defense is able to stop them from scoring. I'm assuming a pick or something because you're very close to this side of the field. Closer than I want to be. Um, so, we need to get out of that mode of we could throw streaks down the field whenever we want, whenever we want, like, isn't that did i just say the same thing i need to get out of that mindset because this is not the cupcake team this is a completely different team even though dixon is a speedy boy actually i'm gonna i'm gonna send dixon over there send x on a slate i just want to see if he is faster yeah i'm gonna throw it to him why not screw it what are we gonna lose we're not gonna lose anything the risk the risk versus reward right there is just way too it was different if this is real life um and it, it was like pertaining to now I mean, and like there was actually a playoffs. Like, there's no playoffs in this game. This is the last year before they integrated the playoff system into the the college football uh, world, which kind of sucks because they stopped making the games right when they integrate a literal a literal big concept um, to the whole college football system. Now we're just gonna run it in because that's safer. But if this is real life, uh, in reality, we'd 100%. We're even though we're five, we're 100% gonna be put into the um, the top four even with like boy like they would they would kick boise state out a hundred percent even though they are one and i don't know how they're number one but they wouldn't we i promise you we'd be in there i mean there's no way we wouldn't be and then we'd probably be playing like alabama in the first round and then i don't even remember who's in the top four <laughs> so that's it's like oh that was close all right here we go here we go we go uh so i have blockers for me but nice stop. I really like that stop. Dude, I loved that stop right there. All right, so we're going to do kind of like the same thing. I'm going to give myself some pass blockers because I completely forgot that you could do that type of thing. And, oh, dude, I don't know why I threw off my back foot. Me throwing off my back foot delayed that pass, therefore uh, giving that defender more time to get in front of the ball. Now it's third and 10. 
And uh, even though we they, we were able to get out of that first possession without them scoring, um, they were able to score in that second one. So um, let's see what we could do to get the third down. Mommy raised no bitch, but we're injured. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so we're back. It wasn't a crucial injury. It was just a broken leg, something I could just shake off. So um, Dixon is in. He's like, okay, I know we're down by... Um, however, we're down by so I know I got to come up big. I know I got to catch big boy passes I know I gotta do that now. We want to do an option play uh, Of course, we're gonna run it because we're just good at running and if you get that block it will be gone Yeah, buddy touch on why do all the like stadium announcers like the people are like touch on like they sound like they're high school Announcers like I don't know why that's the case. They're like touchdown tigers. They sound like those high school ones, like the low quality ones that you pay like 10 bucks for work in the game and then they leave right after. Dixon's already having a fantastic game. He's like 150 yards already. So he's showing that he's a, a big aspect of the team. He's showing why we need to be put in that national championship game. Okay. Um, so I don't know, <laughs> dude. Okay. So I know in Madden, if you go on rookie mode, like literally if you line up your your receiver with one-on-one -on -one coverage and they get like they'll get past them 96 percent of the time and that's why i don't like playing rookie because like by the end of the like the first half i'm up like 70 to zero because i just throw like streaks downfield every single play now this game i thought it was a little bit different but after playing that last game i was like you know maybe maybe it's kind of like that in this game too but I don't know. I, I'm just going to have to test. And usually, I, I, that's why I like playing pro. And that's why I was contemplate putting, like, the difficulty up to pro when we go up to Madden. Because it's just, like, adds a little bit of a challenge. And I was also telling myself, like, yeah, I could also, like, put a restriction on myself. Like, I can't do that. Like, I can't just every play, like, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Like, that. that's not... See, I... Unless, like, Dixon's just super fast. And that's why I, he's able to get past them. But other than that, I just don't know... I don't know. I might go to like a higher difficulty when we get up to Madden just because rookie is just way too easy and I do like easy but to the point where I'm scoring 70 points in one half I don't think that's the level of difficulty I should be playing at. Um, I'm gonna throw it to you because I'm about to get sacked. That's all I need. A coach wants us to do another four verticals. I'm pretty sure we just did one. The uh, play that, that Dixon scored on. So we're gonna throw right over the middle. Brian should be relatively open like he was. We're now first and goal. Coach calls a timeout. Um, he wants to do a run play now. And now that I have audibles, I can prevent the running back from getting any yards. So we're gonna, once they all line up, we're gonna switch Brian's route to a zig. And I'll throw it. Their offense is actually staying with us yards wise, but like we're just playing better offense. Now I'm gonna take the ball even if like the okay, so that was a good play. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get past that guy. I get the first, that's all that matters. Oh shoot, I probably should have been paying attention. That's the end of the first half. Should have been like calling timeouts and stuff. So we got the ball first. Um this half. Um I'm gonna see okay, I'm gonna see if he could still get past him. Um ye kind of I think it's a little bit different JTI what um I don't I think it's a little bit different in this game because like in Madden if you throw it like there's a high chance that they're they're gonna catch it so or they're gonna be open so I don't maybe I should say like to myself I can't use that type of play in this series too because it's just way too easy it really wouldn't be too fun to watch just me throwing streaks constantly constantly beating teams like literally a hundred and like 50 to I don't know 30 and like every single game I don't and breaking the passing touchdown record in one game I don't think that's I, I don't think I want to do that now we've done multiple read options let's see if they actually stick with us this this on this uh play and they didn't they just letting the quarterback go again uh, first also like in this game I like how um, the, there's so many like names like in the audio files like for instance, uh, like for the last names now I Like my actual last name. It's long and German and usually it's not Like they, they don't have it. I know they don't have it playable in the Madden games I think they do have it in the road to the show games But usually like they don't have it in the games and I know that again It's not in Madden, but this game they have it like they actually say it. What's the flag flipping? Of course. Wow Look how much they backed us up for that. What the heck? Okay, that gives us more space to actually like breathe and move We were kind of really stuffed up in there and congested 
Uh, that was a really bad pass. So let's see if we can actually get in the end zone. This this has actually been quite a long drive. Now they're blitzing me. Are you serious? Mm, catch a bounce. Catch a bounce. Okay, thank you for like bobbling it. Thank you. Ooh, 0 and 1 in third down conversions. I guess that's not really that crazy of a stat because, man, it's only one statistic. But oh yes, my favorite pass interference. He literally like pulled him down. That was stupid. Okay, so now they're playing their loud music. I'm going for it because mama ain't raised no biscuit, if you know what I'm saying. So, calm, try to calm it down a little bit. See who's pumping. I'm pumping. I need to get in the end zone on this play. Nice! Now, South Carolina was able to score, like, nearly right away. I don't know if it was a kick return for a touchdown, but um, we should be able to strike right back. We thought a little bit of our own offense. And that should be some good yardage. Uh, that's fine. He should have been out of bounds a lot earlier. His back back of his foot was out of bounds. First and 10, we're at the 40. And I love my slants, my quick slants. It's always good for getting yards. Uh, especially, or except for like when they're all... Yeah, dude, expect, except, except, not especially, but except when they, when my teammates have butterfingers, when the uh, other team is like triple qu cover, triple quivink. Uh, covering one side or like quad covering it's just really annoying but Dixon use your speed never mind I think I made the remark at the beginning of the like when I got sent to Clemson got sent to Clemson I'm acting like it was a bad thing or something like that but when I got to Clemson I was like oh is Dixon the new Michael Wiesbecker really he is he is like the the new version I don't want I, I think I want to say better I'm not sure if I want to say a better version of Michael Wiesbecker but he he is the Michael Wiesbecker of my college days. Now, real question is, is he a, like a... I hope he's a freshman as well, because then we'll have him all four years. But uh, I've had, like, when I've played my own Road to Glories, I've had instances where I've had really good wide receivers, but they're seniors, and they play with us for one season and dip out. Now, I'm going to send Bryant deep, because I usually like these plays for for that for the guys at that spot. Uh, I see some pass interference right there, holding his arm, basically... Pass interference in this game, like, yeah, there is the actual pass interference, but pass interference to me, which they don't call it in this game, which is kind of stupid, but is when the NPCs, like, get stuck on each other or, like, the corners, which forces, like, them to slow down, and it really makes me mad because uh, my the Butterfingers love it. Okay, third and ten. We've had a lot of these. Our third down conversion, not too hot, but I'm going to run it here. I haven't been running this a lot this episode. Slide? Of course, Slide. We haven't ran, like, at all this this uh, episode. I need to show off some more on my legs, show you what I can do. Maybe they'll, like, look at us and be like, you know what? Clemson, number two spot. And they're going to, and we, we, I mean, we will show them what it's like to be a number two team in the country. There you go, Dixon, first down, all that we need. And a fumble. Oh, yes, of course, my favorite. Receiving yards. So he broke a record, but, okay. We're still ahead by 21 in this game, though, so... I don't see them coming back, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm going to change their that route, that route. And then I'll have three people blocking for me. Dude, what? They're not going to be able to touch me. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to run. Okay, cool. That's not what I wanted to do. We're going to do a read option, which maybe that isn't the best option to do right, um, right at this time, considering it's second and 22. But if we can read this correctly, we can get hell yards. There you go. We read it correctly. And hell of yards we get. And maybe a touchdown if we're fast enough. Uh, we're not, but either way, that's hell yards. So now that it's first to ten again, we can play with a little bit, uh, a uh, little bit less of stress. Now Dixon should be open, or I'm gonna run it honestly. Screw it, and slide. Now we should be able to find one of the people on the left side in the end zone, unless they like play them super rough. Like holy crap, like they just did. Like they were literally hugging them. We have 515 yards. Uh. Check that up as another good game for our boys. Now, is that Dixon on the right side? I don't know. I can't see. Doesn't matter, I guess. But. Uh, no! Thanks for not holding on! We are really not making um, good plays on first and second down. Third down. This whole game, that's when, like, we've been saying, you know, third down, maybe we'll actually try, you know? We'll actually try on third down. Uh! Oh, 
I was about to say, if you just like let that shit fly past you, I'm gonna be so mad. All right, so they might take us out for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's what they'll do. So we were to beat our rival, South Carolina, 52 to 21. Now we're just gonna go see where we rank after the next two weeks. Cause I think next week's a buy. So I'll just like send through that and see where we're actually ranked. All right, so after uh, winning two games, very convincingly, we happen to go down a spot. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Was it Ohio State that passed us? Okay, that's ex exactly what I expected. Um, dude, that... Oh, my God. This is, like, the worst possible... Okay, so everybody does have a buy this week. That's the worst possible thing that can happen to us. Uh, that's upsetting. So, this is just rivalry week, I'm assuming. Like, this week and last week is rivalry, rivalry week. Now, of course, my boys at Boise State, they're just sitting at at top. Like, they're just having a good old time. Um, we're going to actually skip this week. I don't see our... Actually, let me look at Heisman watch real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Uh, we're still atop of that, which is... Thank God. Man. Thank God. Now, let's check out the different skill upgrade things. Because we need to upgrade... What's this? A one-game boost. So, basically, this just makes everything 99 for one game. Which I don't care. But other than that, there's nothing else too special there. Now, I'm going to skip one more week. Because this is our bye week. Which that will advance us to our conference championship. We'll figure out who we're playing. And then I will end the episode there. Alright, so again, we didn't change that much. But for our conference championship game, we're going to be playing against number 23, UNC. Now, um, I'm actually pretty excited for this game. Now, let's check out uh, some of the different things we have here. Like XP. No. No. And no. Now, um, I want to make sure that we're still there for Heisman Watch. We're still up there. And I can I actually see the schedules? That's the real question. All right, so we um we can actually kind of see some of these these uh, people that they're playing now. Ohio State's gonna be playing uh, Northwestern in their conference championship game. I just don't see Northwestern winning that. Texas a and playing Tennessee. Um, San Jose State's, I believe. I don't know who S is that. That might be San Jose. I don't know who SJSU is, but. Um, the fact that Alabama's not getting a conference championship kind of makes me mad. So that's going to be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. We'll be, we will 100% be playing the national championship next game or next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new. That's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.